Please like and subscribe for more tutorial for beginners. New videos every day. All right, so now let's get started with the Facebook training that I'm going to tell you about. So first have a look at the new interface of Facebook, okay? So basically, as you can see, the structure of Facebook, uh, Facebook's uh, interface has changed a lot. You can see that it's it's pretty different now, right? So I'm at my page right now, and I must say that uh, right now this new structure is something I would prefer because all the information is right in front of us. Just to give you guys an overview, this is my page. You know, a little bit information about me, but obviously a lot of things is in my native tongue, so it might be difficult for you to understand. So you can always go towards my YouTube channel, and you can look for a few of my videos if you like. Again, this is in my native tongue. If you understand Urdu or you understand Hindi, so it would be really easy for you, and you guys can find really. Uh, available content over here so getting back to the Facebook page this is the Facebook page again I, if I need to create a post I can simply do it from here right create a post nothing nothing really difficult right but uh, we've got some really good options over here I'm just going to give you an overview we are at the we are at the home we are at the ad center again I won't be going into ad center because I'll be taking inside the ads manager right we've got resources and tools whenever I click on any options a lot of things will open up that will tell you a lot of things that you could do uh, related to your business you've got free trainings you've got quick guides and uh, quite a few things apart from that you've got creator studio which is really important we've got publishing tools we've got page quality and other information of your page that you could add it like adding people to your grow uh, to your facebook page or that uh, cre in creator studio you can simply schedule posts for both facebook and instagram from here you can directly schedule posts for instagram you can just click on create a post instagram feed and just post whatever you like uh, with an image also we've got different options that you guys can obviously uh, look into uh, here's the option for publishing tool it's I think it's same as the creator studio but it has more options and uh, publishing studio is open up again it's gonna take me to the creator studio apart from that the page quality if, if you if you like this content was removed for violation right last year so if I shared something that's not allowed uh, if I share any specific music that's uh, that's owned by a company, so it, it, it's more probably to get you know removed over here. So you can see all those violations and stuff in the page quality part. So that's that. Now, if you any of you wants to get started with Facebook marketing, what you'll do first thing, right? The first things you do, you you come to your Facebook page, you see the option for boost post, right? So you click on boost post. Next thing happens, your ad account is selected. This is one of my ad accounts. I have multiple ad accounts. I won't be showing those. You can see a preview of the post that I'm trying to boost. So this is just a post uh, uh, about me telling about myself. Okay. Apart from that, you could see there are so many options. Yeah, I want to target any specific people. I want to target people who like my page. I want to target uh, absolutely new audience, or you could just I could just create a new audience. So it's up to you where you are. You can just select a name, type in, uh, put in some details, and you can target to those specific people right I'm gonna talk about it later on so over here you can obviously select your budget uh, Facebook starts as low as one dollar so basically I could because the conversion ratio is like around 160 rupees uh, equals to one dollar so yeah, this is amount is almost equal to a dollar so you need a minimum for a dollar to get started and then the, the main part of what happens over here is that you need to attach your payment information. Make sure you have a Visa or MasterCard. Everything would work. Uh, if there are some limitations in your country, a few cards might not be working. But in most of the part of the world, Visa and MasterCard always work. So first, and after you enter in your details, just need to click both and your campaign would be created, right? So just to give you guys an overview, this is a campaign that... I've just created you know this is just a test right just to show you guys I'm gonna click on boost post and my ad would be submitted right next thing what you need to do let me take you back to my all right guys it's time for you to run your first Facebook ad within the next five minutes that's right I've shown you how to run your Facebook ad within five minutes so make sure you watch this video so without further ado let's get started with that training I wish you best of luck Let's get started with running uh, the ad so that you guys could finally see how to advertise for the restaurant, right? So this is a post that we got created and we posted this to on our Facebook page, right? So you guys just need to click on boost post and now I'm going to show you guys how to target people within your area, right? So I'm gonna let the age limit be just like that and let Facebook decide but I'm going to click on edit, right? I want to target men and women all but not inside the whole country I'm gonna wanna do it specifically for my city so it's Karachi 
right? And I can either go over within the city, but I think 15, 15 miles is good, right? After that, since it's a restaurant, the first keyword that I like to put is restaurant, right? So people who are interested in restaurants, those people will be targeted. And you can see that it's, it's a really big number that I could target right now, right? And over here, you can see the potential audience size. If it was Pakistan, whole the whole country, then the audience size would be really different, right? Let me add the location at Ryan, Karachi. Okay, so it, it's a big location. It's like 2.5 million audience right now. Let's reduce it down to 10. Okay, looks good. I've added restaurants in the interest. Now this is this is the the magical thing that needs to happen. You just enter one keyword and you just click on suggestions, and automatically Facebook would tell you who who uh, who are the people who have similar interests. Right, all these options. Right, so I can target people uh, in in the demographics at food and restaurant. So I'm going, not going to add that, but I'm just going to show you guys. So people who are working in these industries, food and restaurants, I can target those people. Right. So let me cancel this out because I specifically don't want to show ads to people who are basically working in this industry, but instead people who are over there as customers. So click on suggestions again. Right. And click on foodies. People foodies are the people who like to look without eating food dinner lunch okay cuisine okay fast food restaurants there are so many other options that I could add over here online shopping engagement engaged shoppers subway restaurant okay brunch okay so many options over here right so this is a really good and defined audience so i'm gonna click on save now and i've targeted all the people around that around uh, in the whole city targeted all of them right now the automatic uh, the placements are automatic i've already told you about guys about the budget if i change this to like four days I'm pretty much sure i'll get really good results but uh the client doesn't agree for spending more than this so i'm just gonna spend this for two days and the ad is gonna run till 27th and you can see that the ad would reach from 1400 people to 4000 people per day right so you can say that the ad reach can go up from 5000 to 10,000 people so I think this is enough for me uh, I'm, I don't have a pixel installed right now for this client uh, for this business and since I don't have a website as well so I won't be checking on the pixel as well so now everything is done you guys I hope you guys understand every single thing how easy it is to simply advertise your restaurants and if you guys want to get started with this definitely go ahead and try it out for one of your business and if you have any questions you guys can obviously feel free to contact me on my Facebook page Instagram uh, Instagram profile or anywhere you're watching this video so thank you very much guys I'm just gonna click on boost now before I end this video and make sure you see the tutorial for uh, Facebook pixel as well I'll try to attach it by the end of this video so thank you very much let's click on boost before I end this video now the my ad is getting submitted all right guys welcome back we're we'll going into Facebook ads manager so you can simply access your Facebook ads manager through here just click on it and open it in, in a new tab click on create to get started so all right we are now presented with a lot of marketing objectives